Trying to come up with a writing schedule when you have a full-time job is so hard. Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. This is gonna be vlog number two of my Camp NaNoWriMo process. It's been rough. In the last vlog, I told you guys that I'm trying to do at least 16 writing days for the month. So that's hopefully four days a week. This week I failed. Okay. Big time. I think I did two days. And then today's Saturday so I did two days I did Tuesday and Thursday and neither one of those days did I meet my writing goal I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit and then today I was scrolling through YouTube and I came across Alexa Dunn and Ginger Reese Laney um, that's Laney they both have YouTube channels about writing they were doing a live stream today and I thought okay let's let's try to live stream with them let's try to write with them as they're doing their live stream sprints so i did that so i got three days in this week although i wanted to get four days in at least so i failed week one i guess i could include day number one from last week which is the last vlog in this week but i don't want to i wanted to at least get four days in this week and i didn't so this week's writing goals for camp nanorimo was a fail Hopefully I do better next week. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is, well, I didn't really come up with the idea on my own. I came across this guy on YouTube. What's his name? Let me tell you what his name is. So I came across his channel and he was doing an outlining process. I was trying to find out a different way that I could outline my outline. I wanted to have a structured enough outline that I could just look at it and be able to write a scene and that's not what I did initially I don't know if you guys remember that I told you I outlined project saving grace this second time around using save the cat 15 beats but that wasn't helping me in terms of scene by scene chapter by chapter and I wanted to be able to get an outline that is more specific to that so that I could just look at the outline and decide okay I'm gonna write that scene today and then just write it like that so I came across his channel and he he did a 25 chapter outline and what he did was he literally did a 25 chapters and outlined every single chapter based on act one act two and act three so act one and act two three i think are the same length and act two is twice as long as act one and act two okay i got his name give credit where credit is due his name is derek murphy he has a youtube channel and he has websites and he does a lot of help for writers and authors and he is also a writer so I got his outline, I downloaded it from his website, I'll leave the link to his website in the description and also the link to his channel in the description so you can check it out for yourself. I downloaded the template and I went through the template and I kind of did a minor outline of each chapter in the template. So I have 24 chapters instead of 25 so I kind of just meshed two chapters together further down in the outline. What I then decided to do was to see if I could write one chapter a day. Ambitious, I know. I used a 90,000 words quota for my book since I'm writing Romantic Suspense and 90,000 words is close enough to Romantic Suspense. It's more contemporary, but I just used it as a ballpark figure since I know that I'm an overwriter. So I used 90,000 words and decided that I would divide the 90,000 by 24 for 24 chapters and came up with 3,750 words per chapter. Now this is just a ballpark figure, I don't expect to make each chapter the exact same length but I thought that if I did it that way then I could tell myself okay since I'm doing 16 writing days in April then the other 8 writing days I could do in March, the other 8 writing days I could do in May sorry my mind is backwards and then I would have 24 writing days and on each writing day I would write one chapter i.e. I would write 3750 words so that's my 
word goal for any particular day. Y'all know I was being ambitious because last year and the year before, I couldn't even get in the 1,000 whatever words NaNoWriMo has as their daily word count goal in order to reach the 50,000. And I decided I was gonna do 3,750. I have not made that word goal on any of those days that I've written, not even once. I think maybe I was trying to be a little too ambitious, but in my mind, I want to try to finish Project Saving Grace by the end of May so that I can give it a rest and then go back to it in June and then give it another rest and start a new project for Count Nanorama in July and continue that way. But maybe, just maybe, I'm being a little too optimistic or ambitious as you will. I'm not gonna change the word count goal. I am going to try my best each day to push for the 3,750 words. That's gonna be like my motivator. I wanna get as close to that as possible. I feel like if I were to decrease my, my goal, then I would also be decreasing my potential to write more. What we are gonna do right now is go through this live stream that Lainey and Alexa did and I'm gonna write when they write. I may not watch the entire thing because it's at two hours and 23 minutes long and it's late. I wanna cook, I wanna prepare for breakfast tomorrow. I'm reading as well. I would also like to do some blog post scheduling and I just don't have the time to go through. Maybe I'll do like half of it. So maybe the latter half. Because I know in these live streams sometimes they build up to their they build up their sprints. So maybe they may start with a five minute sprint and then they may do a ten minute sprint and build up. So I think I'll start in the latter half and do it like that. Also, can you tell that my eyes are really red? I've been using the computer all week. My day job is the computer all day long and my passion job, which is writing, is also the computer all night long and my eyes have been red for almost three days now. I'm using the computer too much. I think it's the blue light. I saw on Sarah Sutton's channel that she got these um, blue light filter glasses from Amazon. They look really cute and I think I think I'm gonna try to get me a pair of those and see if it helps because my eyes are burning. I go to sleep and wake up and my eyes are still burning and I know it's because I'm using the computer all day long. I make sure you guys me searching for this blue light filter glasses and you can tell me which one I should choose. I always have a problem with that. I always have a problem choosing what glasses. When I got these, it took me almost three days to decide the frame that I should get. So I know it's, it, it's probably gonna be a tough choice on which one I should get if I do decide to get one. So maybe you guys can help me out with that decision as well. Okay, so let's go to Amazon and see if we can find those blue, blue light. What is it? Blue light glasses. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. Okay, this one looks like it has a lot of reviews. Let's see it. You guys think this is cute? I'm not usually a fan of print. These ones are clear. Oh, it's two. It's two in the pack. I didn't even see that. So I'd, I'd get the this one, and I'd also get the clear one. It costs. 1273 that's not bad let's see what other colors they have this is black well there's a pink one what is that I like pink but I don't really like the black 
have you guys seen these glasses before better yet have has any one of you tried i think sarah said that she likes it and she she thinks she's not seeing a difference because she isn't she isn't getting as many headaches i'm curious to know what other people are saying about these kinds of glasses i don't even know if this is the brand that she got there are others but that one looks like it has the most reviews and i don't know i always try to look for reviews on amazon i'll probably go through and read a couple of these to see what the people are saying you know because when you live in the caribbean and you try to buy something on amazon if it's not good you can't just return it like that it costs money to ship it back to the states you kind of have to be very careful when you're buying things online when we're buying things online because sometimes if they're not good quality especially or if they don't do what they said they're supposed to do then you kind of have to deal with it unless you're willing to spend money to send it back overseas and then buy a new one and then have to pay for the shipping of it coming back to Antigua again but the new one it's it costs more money than it's worth so yes yeah, so let me know let me know in the comments guys okay so we're gonna get into this um, this sprint and I'll come back and tell you guys how many words I got in okay so I just finished the 20 minutes um, the first one I did with them was 20 minutes I think I did pretty good I got 670 words what I realized though is when I'm doing longer writing sprints I tend to pause more often I don't know if you guys remember from my my last vlog, my last nano, camp nano vlog, when I was doing my five minutes sprints, I was getting like 300, 400 words in one sprint. And then this sprint, I did 20 minutes and I only got 6.15. I pause a lot more when I have longer sprints because in my mind I have more time. But when I have shorter sprints, before I start the sprint, I know exactly what I'm gonna write and I just speed type it and I don't usually correct any any mistakes that I make so I usually have a lot of typos at the end of five minute sprints I use Google Docs so Google Docs really helps me out and pro writing aid they really help me to fix the typos really quickly but in this 20 minute sprint as I was writing I finished writing one paragraph and I look up and realize oh there's some typos and I pause and I fix the typos and I was removing words and adding words and trying to fix sentences which i don't usually do that when i'm doing five minute writing sprints i just write and however it comes out it comes out do you guys like writing sprints do you prefer to write in writing sprints or to just sit down and write and just let words come to you and pause and stop and write again you might prefer to write in writing sprints i've talked about this on my ig and i think i spoke about it on my blog too but i prefer writing in writing sprints it helps me keep my mind focused and when i know that i have a goal and it's just five minutes i really get in i'm going to take a little break because that 20 minutes is longer than my usual writing sprints and i am listening to uh, Susan Stoker's newest book, Finding Elodie. I tried to listen to it yesterday while I was at work, but although I got through it, I feel like I didn't connect well enough to it because my mind was so occupied with work and there was a lot of interruptions, etc. You know, things that happen when you're working. So I am listening to it again. I'm four chapters in and I'm already realizing that there are things that I heard yesterday that I didn't actually hear because I'm like, this happened? And that's that's the beginning of the book, so you know. I'm an hour and 35 minutes in. There are eight hours and 28 minutes left and I already realized that I missed some things. I'm gonna just listen to like 10 minutes of it and then get back into the next writing sprint when they start over again. I'm also scheduling blog posts. While I'm listening to this book, I'm working on a blog post that I want to schedule. It is a book list, so I'm working on that, and then I'm gonna pause that and then go back over to the writing sprint when they start over. Okay, so 
they seem to be ready to start the next writing sprint yes we're gonna be doing 25 minutes this time hopefully I can get in more words than just 650 we'll see what happens okay guys so the writing sprint is over okay so I did get more than the 650 I got 676 which is only 26 words more that I got in an entire five minutes more I'm starting to wonder if maybe I should just stick to five minute sprints because I feel like I get more words in then again I just did what 45 minutes of writing and usually when I'm doing five minute sprints I do maybe four or five minute sprints which is only 20 minutes so technically I'm getting more writing time in but compared to the amount of words I get when I do four writing sprints I'm getting less writing words in if that makes sense maybe it's not less maybe it's just about the same thing I'm gonna have to try them both again and see what really works best it seems like I started right when they they were close to ending the live stream so that's gonna that's the last sprint that they're doing and it's really late and I don't really feel like doing any more and I still have other things that I'm planning I'm probably gonna show you guys that in a bit in total I got 1326 words so 1326 it would have been a trip if I'd really gotten 13,000 words. That would have been exciting. But I got 1,326 words in writing time of 45 minutes. Not the greatest, but I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's better than zero. It's really better than zero. Okay, guys. Um, that brings us to the end of this vlog. I ended up writing a little extra a little more words because I was in the middle of writing a paragraph when the uh, the sprint finished and I got an extra 109 words so my total word count for today is 1435 so well, that's 1435 like I said not too bad it is I don't even think this is half this isn't it's not even half of what my word count goal is but I'll, I'm gonna live with it. I'm gonna live with it. I may end up writing a little bit more later tonight after I'm finished cooking, but that just depends on how tired I am and how my eyes feel because my eyes, my eyes burn and they're red and I don't wanna overdo it. Let me know in the comments how your writing for Camp Nano has been going. And if you're not doing Camp Nano, what are you working on? I know you're probably still writing even though you're not writing under the guise of Camp Nano so let me know what's up and I'll see you guys in the next vlog hopefully next time I'll have better news to report and hopefully next week I actually get in all four days and maybe at least one of those days I get to my word count goal let's keep our fingers crossed thank you guys for watching see you later